stay in line with the whole video conferencing theme or you know what? I've talked to a lot of my divorce friends out there and they've informed me that these pro tips actually help them with their dating because they've moved their Tinder experience now from dates in person to video dates. So uh, hopefully that helps out too. Anyway, so we talked about lighting. Today we're gonna to talk about camera angles and where to actually position your, your yourself within the camera and to get that optimal video conference. And you'll notice here, we're just starting out. I've got that camera two inches above my eyesight. So whether you're sitting at your laptop or you're using your phone or however you're positioning it, you always want to have that camera two inches above your eye line. So you're giving you the optimal angle on that. But let's go dig into some more pro tips around camera angles and doing those video chats. So here's your first tip on camera and backgrounds. Never, and I mean never, have a door behind you. Because when you have a door behind you, people can walk in and they don't know you're on a video conference. So God only knows what's going to happen when they walk in. Hey, hey, like that. Always remember when you're shooting a video conference, whatever's in the box that shows you is what the other people can see. So if you're not in the box, they can't see you. So I always see people who have very weird positioning about where they are in the box. Don't sit too close to the camera because your head's gonna look huge. But don't overcompensate for that by moving the camera way back and then your head looks freakishly small. Things like this, can you see me? And sometimes I see people like looking at the camera like they're trying to find gold or something. Like I don't understand like this. If you're working with multiple monitors, sometimes you make the mistake of actually putting the video conference on a different monitor. So you get this look. People are doing their work and they're looking, they're, they're looking at you on the video conference, but it's not where their camera is. So you just get the impression that they're not paying any attention and checking email. A lot of times your laptop sits below you and you get the upshoot. That is not sexy, not flattering. Nobody gets, looks good with the upshoot. Stay away from it. And last but not least, remember, when you're on a video conference, you're actually looking at the people that are on the video conference. You're not looking at yourself. So if you need to look at yourself, move your picture to the top of the frame because man, the most annoying thing I see is when people are on video conferences doing things like this. Like, look at the people there, man, not there to look at you. Because if you look at you, it just looks all wonky. That's pro tip number six. Hope everybody's doing great. Be safe, be careful, be good to each other. Peace.